Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, we would like to share the Morellian series of cosecant x. Instead of differentiating cosecant function, I would like to change cosecant to 1 over sine. And we let fx be equal to sine. And we just have to obtain the Morellian series for this line function. At x equal to 0, sine 0 is equal to 0. Differentiate for the first time, differentiate sine function is equal to cos function. At point equal to 0, we have 1. Differentiate for the second time, differentiate cos is negative sine. At point 0, we obtain 0 since sine 0 is equal to 0. Differentiate for the third time, differentiate sine is positive cos. Positive, negative, negative. At point 0, we have negative 1 since cos 0 is equal to 1. 1 times negative, we have negative 1. Differentiate for the fourth time. Differentiate cos is negative sine. So negative, negative, positive. At point 0, we have 0 again. Differentiate for the fifth time, we have cos. And at point 0, we have 1. Differentiate again, we obtain negative sine. At point 0, we have 0. Differentiate for the seventh time, we have negative cos. At point 0, we have negative 1. Since I have obtained 1, 2, 3, 4 non zero terms, so I'm going to stop here and form the Morellian series of sine x. Recall the general formula for Mallorian series, which is the n derivative at point 0 divided by n factorial times x to the power of n for n equal to 0 to infinity. So which means that sine x is equal to the original function at point 0 is equal to 0. So we can ignore this one. We start from the first derivative. So which means that we have 1 over 1 factorial. Since this is first derivative, so divided by 1 factorial. Then x to the power of 1 and we plus second 0 third negative 1 divided by 3 since it's third factorial x to the power of 3 plus 0 again and fifth we have 1 over 5 factorial x to the power of 5 and 0 again followed by negative 1 over 7 factorial x to the power of 7 and so on so we have 1 over 1 is equal to 1 1 times x is x and we minus 1 over 3 factorial is 6 x to the power 3 and we plus 1 over 5 factorial is equal to 120 x to the power 5 and the last one we have 7 factorial which is equivalent to 5040 x to the power 7 and so on since cosecant x is equal to 1 over x and this is equal to 1 over x minus 1 over 6 x cubed plus 1 over 120 x to the power 5 minus 1 over 5040 x to the power of 7 and so on. In other words, to obtain the cosecant x, we can apply long division. So which means that we have 1 is divided by x minus 1 over 6 x cubed plus 1 over 120 x to the power of 5 minus 1 over 5040 x to the power of 7 and so on. The rules of thumb of applying long division is always reduce the first term to 0. In order to obtain 0, we have 1 here. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. In order to obtain 1, we need to times x by 1 over x. So 1 over x times x, we obtain 1. Where we minus, we obtain 0. And times the remaining terms, we have negative 1 over 6x squared plus 1 over 120x to the power of 4 and we minus 1 over 5040x to the power of 6 and so on. Again, remember, always take the first line minus the second line. So we have 0 minus minus, so plus 1 over 6x squared minus 1 over 120x to the power of 4 plus 1 over 5000 40 x to the power of 6 and so on. So the next term we should have plus 1 over 6 x. So 1 over 6 x times x, we obtain positive 1 over 6 x squared. So when we minus, we can obtain 
zero times the remaining terms negative positive negative one over thirty six x to the power four and one over six times one over one hundred twenty we obtain one over seven hundred twenty x to the power of six and so on. Let's simplify. We have negative one over one hundred twenty and we minus negative one over. 36 and we obtain 7 over 360 x to the power 4 and the next term we have 1 over 5040 and we minus 1 over 720 and this is equal to negative 1 over 840 x to the power of 6 so which means that the next term we should take plus 7 over 360 x to the power of 3 so times x, we obtain x to the power of 4. So when we minus, we obtain 0. And for the next term, we have 7 over 360. And we times negative 1 over 6. And this is equal to negative 7 over 2160 x to the power of 6. So let's simplify negative 1 over 840 and we minus negative 7 over 2160 and we obtain 31 over 15120 x to the power of 6. So the last term here we should have plus 31 over 15120 x to the power of 5 and so on. So which means that the cosecant is equal to 1 over x plus 1 over 6x plus 7 over 360x cubed plus 31 over 15120x to the power 5 and so on and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you